okay so we have uh, designed the fuse of the same ohm plus 0 0.001 and we have soldered it in the place where there was the fuse <coughs> so let me connect the power source now and switch on the power switch okay so the lights are coming up now so this should have fixed the problem okay looks good see the power LED blinking okay that's my Okay, that's good. Let me connect the uh, LAN cable to it to check if the Ethernet light comes up. So, there is the Ethernet port. Okay. Okay, we snapped on the Ethernet cable. Okay, so Ethernet cable is in and I see the Ethernet light is also blinking fine. So let me check uh, on my mobile if the Wi Fi network is getting directed. So let me go to the settings and let me turn on the Wi Fi switch. Yeah, that's my Wi Fi. Oh, okay, okay. So that's my WIFI KISS 2G. That's my Wi Fi router. So you see the tick marks, so it indicates that we have fixed the uh, router issue. Let me turn it off and then turn it on again to check if it works. If it gets detected. Searching for the network. Yes, it's getting detected. Cool. So let me browse. Let me switch off the data here. Yes, so that's my Wi Fi. Let me check if we get the. Google page loading up, yeah. Super, so we have fixed the problem. So uh, let me put the case back. It's gonna kind of equal to Okay, let me disconnect the power source. We have the dual band antennas. This is the 2G and that is 5G. So let me put them back. hear that so we are still getting the, the lightning over here mm -hmm. connecting the antenna back ok 
Got the pop sound, which indicates that it's fixed and friendly. Let me connect the other antenna to the motherboard. Okay, that's fixed in. Right, let me close the car. So this is a simple fix, you know, which uh, you can try it at your home and stop getting it repaired or getting the router replaced, which would cost you at least uh, a 2000 for buying a new router and at least a 1K for getting the router serviced. Sound. Okay, that's fine. Um, let me put the screws back quickly. Okay, so the screws are back on. Okay, that's fixed in, so let's connect the power cable back now. Okay, and switch on the power source. Okay, so you can see the lights coming up. Let me test uh, the USB at the end is also getting the power. Yes, so that's also working. So my lights are coming up on the one and uh, let me connect the internet cable back. Okay. Right, so I got the internet lights. Okay, so the problem is fixed and I can start using the router.